forgot one thing. Smoke. 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 <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, welcome to the channel. I'm headed north again. I'm headed to my lease in northern Arkansas. We're going to be doing some whitetail hunting. Um, I'm getting word that a lot of the bucks have already shed their antlers. So, we'll see. The, uh, last week, last year, um, I shot a nice eight point up here. And sure enough, when I shot him, he hit the ground and both sides of his rack fell off. But, surely all of them hadn't shed quite yet. It's uh, January the 14th. Nothing but bow seasons in right now up there. Um, rifle and muzzle motor have been closed for a good while. So hopefully the deer are kind of settled down again. Everybody's out of the woods, most people. Unless you're crazy like me. It's going to be pretty cold. A little bit of wind. Um, most of the sets that I'm looking at hunting, the wind is going to be pretty either perfect or fair. So, uh, there's no shower up here, nowhere to take a shower, so um, I'm going to try to get up in the tree pretty high, maybe the scent will blow over the top of their heads. Um, anyway, I've got about four and a half hours left to drive. Alright, I finally set up. I'm late. It took me a pretty good while to get set up. spot and I just had some issues. Uh, I lost an antenna from my, my, one of my cell phone cameras. Um, I had to come over here and find a decent tree to hunt out of. Alright, no deer, zero. I'm about to get down. Haven't eaten all day. Well, I hadn't eaten really a, a meal all day so I'm starving. I'm about to run a town get some groceries and uh, eat supper. I will leave everything in the tree. I'll be back in the morning. Good morning. It's about 6.40. I just got set up. It's about 32 degrees. The wind's supposed to pick up really bad today. So I'm gonna get out and go to camp a little bit. Catch y'all on the tree at the food plot this afternoon, Lord willing. Um, earlier in the year, some cows did get out and get over there and mess everything up over there, so hopefully that's not the case this time, but that's where I'm going to go this afternoon, hopefully. So, catch y'all then. No deer this morning, or this yesterday evening. I think it's going to get better. It's going to get better for us. You'll see. You worry, we're gonna get on a deer. We're gonna get some more back straps, some butter, salt, and pepper. <sighs> ah, it's cold. Hey, right, so I'm back at camp, so I figured I'd show y'all my camp where I'm staying and stuff. <clears throat> so, here's a little bathroom. We don't have running water or electricity here. That's the generator you hear in the background. So here's our little pooper. Outhouse. Yeah. Uh -huh. There you go. How you like that? little fire pit <clears throat> that's one of the guys camps there's a skinning rack right there pulley system got a little deck built another camp 
little cattle pond down there. There's Kirby digging in the trash. A uh, couple camps here. There's my four wheeler generator going back there in the background. And it is powering this. That's where Kirby stays. So, what this was, was an old cook shed. This is where they cooked, and they kind of let me just use it to stay in. I'm a little bit more mobile type person. Boy, if uh, something else comes along, or I want to get out, and I don't have a whole bunch of stuff tying me down. There's our deer check-in sheets. There's a little topo, old topo, jaw bones. This is a D-map plug. This is where I sleep. <clears throat> little heater. TV with a VHS player, which I don't have any with me. Uh, last time I was here, I slept up there in the loft. This time I'm gonna sleep down here. <clears throat> Uh, got a bow target as a chair. Got some coffee. Coffee pot. Bittles. Milk. Cereal. It's cold enough in here that I don't have to put that milk on ice even with these heaters, with that heater going. <clears throat> it's still pretty chilly in here. So there you have it. That's where I'm staying. Um, I'm about to go hang that stand right now I'll, after I drink this cup of coffee. It's 10 o'clock, so there it, this wind is blowing, so there's hardly no chance these deer are going to hear me, which is a good thing. They're not going to know I set the stand up, throw some corn out in there, <coughs> and uh, ease out. I'm probably going to get set up about 1.45, 2 o'clock, somewhere in there. Give me about three hours till dark. And uh, hopefully this wind will die down this afternoon. If it doesn't, oh well, I'm going to hunt anyway. I'm going to hunt in the morning. <sighs> so, all right, I just want to show you all my camp there, where I'm staying. It's not actually mine. I'm just part of the, whatever, the lease. I'm just part of the hunting club. Most of these guys don't bow hunt much. And they surely don't uh, bow hunt late season. That pond down there has got a thin sheet of ice over it, so you know it's cold. We need to do some cleaning up around here. All right, we'll see y'all this afternoon. Here I am, set up. It's about 2.15, 2.20. Oh, it's nasty, windy, it's starting to snow. I got busted at yesterday. I had two does coming here, and I guess they saw the light on my uh, <clears throat> action camera blinking red, and they busted me from way out there. But that was the only two does that was coming into this spot. <clears throat> and I just figured it was no sense in coming here this morning and trying to hunt. <sighs> uh, so I slept in this morning a little bit till about six, no, actually I got up about five, but uh, it's knocking on eight o'clock now. So I'm taking this stand down. I'm doing some more work. I'm gonna pull some more stands at other spots because I don't know what's gonna happen with this lease um, this coming year for us. So I'm gonna pull everything and um, I'm gonna go hunt that stand that I hung the very first day and I hunted the first evening, didn't see anything, but the deer have found the, the bait. They're in there. Um, I got a crosswind. It just all depends on where they want to come from. It's 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 a little little hairy with the wind, so we'll see. Um, 
first thing about 12 o'clock i'm going to slip in there real quiet and uh pull the two cameras i got in there and i'm going to get my lock on and twist it around put it on the back side of the tree that way i'll have some cover in between me and the deer uh, late season man it's hard to get away with shoot killing one of the bow and movement and everything else so i'm going to do that and i'm going to get up set up about 145 somewhere in there and sit till dark and i'm going home probably tonight or early early in the morning so y'all stay tuned i'll catch you in a little bit i got a lot of work to do before i go hunting this afternoon see y'all in a little bit all right so a quick update um i went and pulled a couple lock-ons pulled a couple feeders cameras um got that done and about 11 30 i went to the spot i'm gonna hunt this evening put that lock on, on the back side of that tree got the camera arm up got my bow in the tree all i gotta do is climb up there and start hunting all right guys this is the last scent made it to the stand right now it's uh probably about 145. I was having a hard time keeping my pin on the deer because the wind's blowing this tree all over the place. Anyway, that's just an excuse. Oh, she ran. She didn't go 50 yards. Man, I worked hard for that deer. This bow hunting, I love it. I love it. With a gun, I could have shot that deer way back. Coming in. I had to watch her and watch her and watch her. Uh, possum coming here and almost spooked her.
crazy. I had deer all over me. There were still deer out here that you couldn't see. If I didn't get behind this tree, there's, there's no doubt that one day would have busted me. We had to stare down for a while. <laughs> you know, you get focused on other deer looking around, you don't know which one to look at. And I'm over here getting footage of these deer coming in. And uh, I look down and she's looking at me. So I had to deal with her. She looked kind of white face, white face, so she might be a whole doe, a good one to take out. There were some several up and comer bucks coming here, so everybody was shouting that all the bucks up here lost their horns. I ain't got the first picture of any bucks that would with shed that has shed their horns or I hadn't seen any visually either. This evening was the best evening I've had. Man, this whew, I think this is the third evening, something like that. Man, that was that was fun. It paid off moving this. Here's my view. It paid off me moving this stand on the back side of this tree. So I'm standing right here. Half of my body is covered by this tree, okay? And the deer are down there. <laughs> if that makes sense. I was trying to suck to this tree as close as I could. Sun's going down behind me. It's a beautiful sunset. It's the red moon right now. I know if 
eventually that I didn't know it. I was trying to start to doubt myself the decisions I was making. But I told you I, was, I came here on a screwy wind. If I would have wanted that tree where I killed that 11 point earlier in the season, it would have been a no-go. <sighs> Thank you, Lord, man. Open, open woods, you know. You just don't get to see this stuff back home like that. I had a blast. Two does, two does on the last evening. season's coming to an end, but I'm also relieved to Smoke. All right, so here's the deal. I'm back at the camp. Uh, just got a little bite to eat. I'm about to go track these two deer. I already found one of them. I saw it go down. I saw the other one go down, but it ran a little further. So I'm gonna let Kirby track that deer. He hadn't tracked the deer in a while, so <clears throat> deer season's about to be over. So I'm gonna go ahead and let him track that deer, recover them, get them clean, get them quartered up. <clears throat> deep on them, put them in the ice chest and see about getting out of here. Maybe tonight, I don't know, we'll see. Good boy, good boy. guys there's number two hey i appreciate you tuning in to redline outdoors i look forward to seeing you on the next episode y'all have a good night i got a lot of work ahead of me got to clean these two deer get everything packed up the generator is acting up so i might be driving home tonight five hours five and a half hours back home so it might be a long long night so hey thanks for coming we'll catch y'all night next time y'all have a good night